In this segment, we're going to be recording your first audio track. First of all, let's create a new track. Rename the track appropriately. This habit is going to save you a lot of time and frustration in the future because even relatively small projects can end up with a huge number of files. Next, let's choose our input and output buses. If your sound card has a high latency, you can choose Direct Monitoring under Devices, Device Setup, VST Audio Bay. Your sound card has to support ASIO 2.0, otherwise this option is going to be grayed out. Some sound cards support direct monitoring independent of the software's monitoring capability. The advantage of direct monitoring is obvious, no latency. However, the inability to add effects and EQ can be a drawback. OK. Under File, Preferences, Editing, Uncheck, Enable Recording on Selected Track option. Click Apply and OK. To capture a good signal is probably 50% of your success. So make sure you check your signal level starting from the signal source. In my case, it's the keyboard. If you're using a microphone, for example, it's going to be your preamp. Some sound cards have a gain control nub. If you have one, adjust it accordingly. Check your sound card's control panel as well. From this point, your signal enters Cubase. On the mixer panel, SX users can adjust the signal level by moving the bus volume fader and input gain controls. To adjust the input gain, press and hold the Shift key or the Alt key on your keyboard. Pay attention to the clip indicator. If the signal is too hot, the indicator is going to turn red. On the other hand, if your incoming signal is too low and you boost it inside Cubase, for example, the signal is going to be less accurate and you're going to pick up some extra noise. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to set up the output on my keyboard really low and compensate it using some input gain control. As you can hear, the result is not very pleasant. OK, let's arm the track for recording and then turn the monitor button on. Under File, Preferences, VST, you can choose from four different options for monitoring. I'm going to choose Manual for now. Click OK. Disable Cycle Mode and press record. Press stop. Okay, let's have a listen to what we recorded. 
First disable the monitor mode, otherwise you won't hear anything. Press play. A primitive little piece, but not bad for our first time. And this completes our segment on first audio recording.